Hello YouTube, I'm Logan and here I want to tell you about using jQuery inside NetBeans IDE. This is what we'll do. First, we want to make it so that when cursor is hovering on a text, we change the text color to red. And when the mouse cursor is moved away from the text, text color will change to blue. Also, we want to make it so that when we click on the text, it will alert the message. Firstly, we want to create a new HTML where we put all the code in. We want HTML file. Let's name it YouTube test. And then we enter finish, it will create our file for us. Firstly, we want to import the jQuery library using the script source. Now we want to change the text into something more meaningful like click me. The first thing we want to implement is the hover function. First we want to select the div element and we want to hover oh sorry before this we want to place our jQuery code inside the script tag let's see We want to place our jQuery code inside this script tag. The first thing is the hover function. We select the div element, then hover. Let's have a look at the IntelliSense feature of NetBeans IDE. It tells you the API of the hover function. The one we want to use is this one. We have two functions inside the hover function. The first is when the mouse pointer enters the text. The second is when the mouse cursor exits the text. So the first one is we hover into the click me text and we want to change that text color to red. When we leave the area, we want the text to be blue. So let's do that. So first, I want to check something. Over. No. I want to check. Yep, so the, the parameter for both is the event object, but we won't be using it this time around. So the E is for the event. We want, we want the text to be red. The second one, we want to change the color of the text 
the blue. Save it. Make sure we don't do any mistakes. Semicolon. Let's try it. Right click, run file. As you can see, text changes to red when the mouse hovers in it. When mouse cursor leaves it, text color changes to blue. So we know it works. Now, the second part. We want to use the click method. We apply the click method onto the same div element. There's only one. We can see the API of, given by the IntelliSense feature of the IDE. It, it takes one handler function and same parameter as before, the event object. We want to use this one. We don't need event data. This one the second version second version takes event data and the handler function but we want to use this first one the function event when we click it we want to alert you click me so check it. Yep. Closing braces. Semicolon. Check again. Let's test it. Oops. Right click. Run file. Okay. The first feature was when the cursor is hovering on the text, it should be red. When we leave the text with our mouse, it should be blue. Now the clicking, it works. Click on it, you click me. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.